it's Kim. I'm gonna show you a Pilates routine today and Karina's here to help me. We're gonna also show you what it looks like on the reformer in case you're curious and you wanna come into the studio and try it on the reformer as well. So Karina, let's lay down on the mat. <clears throat> For the beginner footwork, We're going to bring our feet into Pilates V, heels are together, toes apart. Let's make sure our hands are planted firmly on the ground so we have a nice open collarbone and a little bit of support with the triceps. So first press the feet out and draw them back in. Make sure that your stomach is engaged so you don't go into your low back. As you press out, you're using the back of the legs as if you're pressing something away, and then draw it in and release in the hip flexors. We're doing this 10 times. It's about six, and we're gonna say this is seven. And here's eight. And last one, I mean, one more. And that's 10. Good. Now we're gonna switch our feet position to bird feet. So pretend like you're wrapping your feet around a pole Make sure you're wrapping the thighs here. Squeeze the glutes together and press out again and then draw it in and again. So we can add the breath in with this. We're gonna inhale as we press out and exhale to draw the knees back in. Inhale out, exhale in. That's five. Continue to wrap the thighs and pretend like you're pressing away so you engage your hamstrings and the back of the leg. And last one, bring it all the way in. And now feet are flexed towards you. Pretend like there's a board you're pressing against on your feet and press out and draw it in. Inhaling through the nose, exhale to bring the knees in. Squeezing the glutes as you come out. And squeeze the glutes, relax the hip flexors. Squeeze the glutes, relax the hip flexors. Let's do one more. Good. Now this next one, you can either bring your legs out into Pilates V, or if your low back is tight, go ahead and keep your knees bent, and you're gonna point and flex, point and flex. As you do this, make sure that your neck is long and you're not holding a lot of tension in your neck. So a light press with the hands can help draw that tension into the triceps if you need help stabilizing. Now we're gonna turn our feet parallel and we're gonna point and flex again. So we're doing this 10 times. That's nine and there's 10. You'll feel a little bit of a burn in here. If your legs are out straight, you're gonna feel that burn probably up a little bit higher up. Bring the knees in and give them a nice hug. Before I start this footwork, I get my connections set, just like we do on the mat. So it's very similar. And I'm gonna start in Pilates V and bring the carriage out and in, just like we were, only our legs were up and we were straightening the legs in space without pressing against anything. And then we switched to the bird feet position where we curled our toes over an imaginary bar, only this time I'm actually curling them over a bar. And then the heels. So the next one we did with the footwork, we held our legs out and point and flexed our toes. This time I'm going to let the carriage come out and then lower and lift the carriage. 
pressing up and down. And then parallel. So doing it on the reformer is nice because I get to feel the pressure on the bottom of my feet so if my heels move around I can correct it pressing through the big toe joint and I'm wrapping my thighs. I can really feel my thighs right now as I push up and down. And that's the footwork. We're going to straighten the legs out. Make sure that you're away from, away from the wall so you can stretch forward. So I'm going to show Karina this. This is the roll up, but I want to spot her on it. So Karina, watch me do the roll up first. I'm going to connect the rib cage to the lower abdominals and my shoulders are connected in the back as well. I'm inhaling. I'm going to nod the chin and roll up. I have to use a lot of abdominal strength to come up without going into my back and then I'm going to stretch forward, distributing the stretch through the entire back line as I draw my belly button back. So I'm going to spot you and hold the legs. Inhale through the nose, find the connection bring in the back of the shoulders and bring the hands forward. Go ahead and bring the hands towards me, nod the chin and roll up. You have to use your strength in those abdominals, beautiful, and come all the way forward stretching as if there were a cactus on your lap. You're bringing your belly button back in space. And then roll back down slowly. Try to articulate each part of that spine as you come down, stay, keeping the shoulders out of your ears and bring the hands up back behind you. Keep that connection in the upper abdominals and bring the hands towards me again, nodding the chin, rolling up as you come up, good. Stretch forward. So, if you're having trouble coming up in this exercise, go ahead and hang out up here for a second. You can bend the knees and instead of doing a roll up, go ahead and put your feet on the floor. You can do the roll back. The roll back, you can grab behind the thighs Sit up really tall, inhaling, and then you're gonna curl back all the way, starting from the base of the spine, and roll all the way down. Good. And then you can come back up. Keeping the knees bent, if you wanna bend them more to help you, you can grab the back of the thighs as you bring your arms down to help you come up to sitting. Good. Great connection on the shoulder blades there. And let's roll down one more time. Firmly planting the feet on the ground as you come down. Good. And this will be the last one up. Nod the chin first. Peel your spine up, sequencing through each part of it. Come up. Good. So we're going to do the single leg circles on the on the mat, but I want to show you what double leg circle looks on the reformer. And we're working on keeping the leg bone separate from the pelvic area as we circle around, trying to lubricate the hip joint. And that's what we'll be doing on the mat as well. On the reformer, we have the handles, and then when you thread this through, it can become a foot strap. So I'm gonna push my foot into the strap and I'll grab the other one. I'm being careful not to go into my low back. I'm gonna straighten my legs out. So we're gonna do the circles coming down. I'm gonna guide the straps and then I'm releasing up and circling my legs around. So I'm coming out a little wider on the reformer than I do on the mat with the single leg circle. And then I'll reverse. Pressing down with the back of the leg as I release up in the hip flexor. Okay, so the next one is single leg. We're gonna straighten one leg down and go ahead and engage that opposite glute, that the glute that, with the leg that's straight on the mat, engage that for support, drop the belly, 
So you have your lower abdominals working a lot here. And bring the leg up. If, if you are tight in the hamstring and it pulls on your back, you can keep the knee bent slightly to do this. And we're gonna circle the leg. It's more like a half circle. You wanna go across the other leg and then down and up. So across, down and up. And once again, try to make the action happen from the top of the leg. So you're thinking this part of the leg is guiding this motion without moving the hips. And then reverse it, down, across and up. Down, across and up. And last one. Good, bend that knee in. And go ahead and stretch it into your chest for a minute and relax it. And now I'm gonna bring it into the frog position, which we will do on the mat. I'm engaging my back line, my tailbone is heavy and I'm drawing up my low abdominals to stay out of my back. I'm gonna press out and then draw my legs back in and press out and draw them back in and press out, releasing back in, drawing it in with my belly. Okay, so I wanna show you the frogs on the mat. We'll be on our backs here. We're gonna bring our feet up into frog position. So the heels are together, toes apart, and you're trying to find the back line So Karina's gonna squeeze her glutes together slightly and press out as if she's pressing something away with her feet, straightening her legs, and then draw them back in. Keep the knees apart, shoulder width, in line with the shoulders, and press out again. Good, and then draw them back in, widening out the knees slightly. If you are having trouble finding your femur bone or the top portion of the bone here, this is what needs to be driving this. So Karina, let's show them how to engage that area if you're not feeling it in the top of the leg. You can bring the knees together and then rotate them out. Keeping the heels squeezed together, bring the knees out to the side and then close them. So right here, she's getting nice lubrication in that joint. Right. So when you do Pilates, Usually you really are trying to guide the movement from that top of the leg. Good, and then back into frog position and now press out again using that nice guide in the top of the leg, good. Great, all right, one more and then bring it in and you can hug your knees in and relax for a second. Okay, I'm gonna show you what climate tree looks like on the reformer. So this isn't an exercise that we just jump in and do. There's a series called the short box series that we do prior to it. But I'll show you what climate tree looks like. We are doing this on the mat. So you'll get an idea what it looks like when you can go all the way back into space. So I have a foot strap securing my foot so I can reach through my heel. And I'm gonna make sure I'm about a hand width away from the back of the box. I'm lifting my leg up and I'm gonna climb up. And then I'm gonna bring my leg back with me a little bit. And I'm using my abdominal muscle to come down and all the way through the well. And then I'm sequencing back up again. Climbing down the leg, looking behind me. And then I'm gonna climb all the way back up. And then we like to take this stretch and you get a nice stretch on the opposite leg here as well. Okay, so we're gonna climb up the opposite leg now. I'm reaching through the opposite heel to lengthen out of my hip on this side and I'm also reaching through this heel. And I'm using a lot of abdominal muscle to control coming up and down so I don't go into my back. Okay, go ahead and straighten the leg back up. 
We're going to turn it out slightly and we're going to climb the tree. So Corinne is going to place one hand over the other to come up and climb up her leg as if she's climbing a tree. Notice she's using her top abs and then climb back down. So you can come up all the way or if it's not possible to come up all the way, you can just go halfway like this and make sure that the top abdominals are connected into the low abs and climb down. We'll do one more here. Good, and then you can bend, bend the knee and then straighten this leg out and we're gonna do the other side. So we're gonna make sure the leg that's straight on the ground is engaged. The back of the leg is kind of pressing down on the ground. Abdominals are scooped up and in. I'm gonna turn the leg out to the side. So this time let's add the breath. There's a lot to think about even with beginners uh, Pilates. So we're gonna cross the leg down and up as you breathe in through the nose and then exhale to bring the leg up. And again, across down and up and exhale it. Good, cross down and up, exhale up and reverse it. Down, across and up, exhale. Down, across and up, exhale. And inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth to bring it up. There you go, good. Great, bend the knee in and relax for a second. And then you're gonna straighten it back up for climb a tree. So you knot the chin first and peel your spine up. You're sequencing up to climb one hand over the other. And then all the way back down, great. So start with the head, nod the chin and gaze at the belly button and then climb up the tree and back down. We're gonna do one more. Good job, bend the knee in and go ahead and relax for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do the swan on the reformer. This is one of my favorite exercises on the reformer. This is a beginner intermediate way to do the swan. So you get on the box face down, just like we do when we're doing the mat. My hands are gonna be on the foot bar. I'm gonna push the, the carriage away and then sequence up bringing the box through a little. I'm engaging my lower abdominals just like I do on the ground. And my shoulder blades are connected. And then I push away and draw my elbows out to the sides to bring the carriage back in. Again, I push the carriage away, sequence up the spine, and push away drawing the carriage back in. And that's the swan on the performer. We're gonna work on our swan next. This will be the last exercise in this series. So go ahead and lie on your stomach. Forehead's gonna be down on the ground, hands underneath the shoulders. Again, if you have low back problems and this isn't a comfortable position to lie in, go ahead and place a rolled up towel underneath right underneath the bony part of the front of the hip and that might help you from um, going into your back. So Karina, go ahead and stretch out a little bit towards there. There we go, your feet will be straight. I'm gonna have Karina bring her uh, sh hands just a little bit more under her shoulders. And before we be begin, I want you to find your lower abdominals in this position. It can be kind of interesting to engage and draw up the pelvic floor muscle while you're facing down, but that's important. I'll go ahead and hug the elbows into the rib cage, and you're gonna press your hands into the ground as you sequence up, lifting the head first, keeping long in the neck, bring the chest through. Squeeze the glutes, drop the belly, good, and then come back down. So the swan can look a little bit like the cobra in yoga, except we're we're not stretching so much as we're trying to strengthen the back line. So keep that in mind. It's not a stretch to come up and hold. It's more of a sequencing through the spine uh, in Pilates. So you're gonna roll a marble away from your nose, inhale through the nose, squeeze your shoulder blades back and down, bring the chest through, engage the lower abdominal, squeeze the glutes, and even the back of the legs are working a little bit and come back down. 
Karina can come up pretty high. But if, for those of you at home, if you cannot come up high, it's okay. You can come even just halfway is fine. Just as long as you're not going into your low back. So let's do it again, Karina. Sequence up, starting with the head. Squeeze the shoulder blades back and down. Back line is working, and then come back down. Good. And then you can push back into child's pose to rest. And that's it for our short sequence today. Kim, thank you so much for taking me through this workout today. And thank you for following along with us. I hope that you will subscribe to our channel so you can come back and join us for more Pilates and all of the other types of videos that we post here on Psyche Truth. If you have comments, questions, or maybe requests of other things you'd like to see, I hope you will leave those down in the comment section for us. And if you want to learn more about Kim, she teaches Pilates classes, of course on the reformer and the Cadillac um, she also does body work and massage so if you want to learn more about her you can visit her online at birdsongbodywork.com thank you so much 